Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Miser's Guide to Ebony. In this building spotlight video, we are going to be looking at the rally spot. Um, the rally spot opens up some discussion about march size, uh, troops in general, how they are accounted for, march presets, and that sort of stuff. So without further ado, let's get started with the rally spot. Um, so the first thing to talk about with the rally spot is if I click on info, you'll see it tells me about March size. Just like all the other buildings like resource tiles and so on, you have a base amount, you have 350,000, and then you have this additional green text, which is the modified amount after uh, things like research and, uh, and duty officer and those sorts of things that uh, take the base amount and then multiply it by some kind of a modifier. Um, so the the best way really to increase your march size um, is, I mean, largely through research and so on, but uh, I think the most effective way is to increase your rally spot amount because even though these numbers are really small, right? Like 800, 1200, 10,000, um, and 350,000, like somebody might be looking at that 350,000, that's an incredibly small March size. And yes, absolutely it is. Um, on its own, 350,000 is not a whole lot. But you have to remember that this green text here next to it, the increased amount, um, relies on having a big base number. So if I only have, uh, let's see, a level 20, let's say even a level 30, uh, rally spot, um, that's 200,000 versus 350. And then all those modifiers is really going to reduce my march size. Um, so you definitely want to have as high as possible march size so that you are getting the most benefit out of all those additional increases from your research and so on. Um, so the best way is definitely to increase the level of your rally spot in conjunction, of course, with everything else. Okay, uh, another thing you can do at Rally Spot is if you click on troop details, it'll tell you your army composition. So you'll see all the troops you have for every single tier. Here's where you can also click dismiss and you can dismiss an amount of troops. I'm not gonna do that, um, but you could if you wanted to. Uh, it tells you some general information like the total number of troops that I have right now is a little bit more than 82 million. Um, marches one of six, um, I think think that means that I have one march out, I think. Let, let's double check that. I believe that means I have one march out, probably at a boss or something. Yep, right there. Uh, so that's what that means. If it says, I, I would think it mean it should mean the other thing, right? It should be the opposite, that I have five available. That would make more sense to me. Um, but I guess what it means right here is march is being used one out of six. Uh, my total upkeep, this is talking about how much food my troops are consuming per hour, and that's 203.6 million. Um, and if you are somebody that is wondering how somebody could have uh, a really high upkeep like that and be able to do absolutely anything in this game regarding food, you need to watch my Building Spotlight video on Warehouse, which talks about uh, food upkeep and protected amount for troops and so on. Uh, the... Troop details also tells you how many traps you have, not necessarily which kind of traps you have, but it tells you how many you have in total, and it also tells you how many wounded troops. Uh, so you'll see I have 598, 773 wounded troops. Let's go take a look at my hospital. My hospital has only 16,000 of that. So keep in mind that it also does include some other sources like uh, here's a whole bunch of siege that I could repair um, if I wanted to. So it does keep that it, it does keep that number as well. And I need to do this anyway. All right. Um, the last note I have here on this page is if you do dismiss troops, it dismisses them permanently. So if I went here and I'm not going to do it because I might misclick or something. If I click to dismiss, I could choose the amount I want to dismiss, but that's forever. I won't get those back. And you don't get anything back. You don't get like uh, resources uh, or anything like that. No, you just lose your troops. So it's only if you want to get rid of a certain amount of troops. 
A really important aspect of the rally spot is also the march preset. So a march preset is basically like a, uh, a setup for your army that, uh, like, how, how can I describe this? Specific amounts of your troops can be set up in a certain composition and you uh, will just have to click it, click the bubble and it will load that preset. Um, you can also include the general. It says select a general here for me because my generals are uh, currently like on the keep and so on. If I remove them from there, they would pop up. Um, but if you want to know more about how to do March presets or what you should do for like attacking March presets, um, take a look at the Art of War series where I talk about uh, things like setting up a PvP archer uh, march or like uh, the cavalry or so on. Um, so take a look at those if you are interested in learning about presets. Um, you'll have a certain number of presets based off of your VIP level. I've only got four unlocked. I will get another one at VIP 15. I'm at 14 now after many years. So let's see. I probably still need about eight months <laughs> before I can get that, uh, which I so desperately need. We just, in my opinion, there should be double, at least double the amount of presets. There should be a whole nother line here. And the first five should be free and then VIP for the rest. But uh, that's my opinion. I mean, they're, they're so essential, especially with uh, some of the latency and PVP and everything. I, I really would like more presets. Um, it kind of makes it impossible to do all the things I want to do without, you know, having all those presets. But um, hopefully that will be a change in the future. I will say that there is a preset bug and I've encountered this before in the past. It is so frustrating. Um, there was one time that I lost a whole lot of troops. I... Uh, there was a subordinate city that came free and I went to go attack it. And uh, But before doing that, I quickly changed the preset. And this is why I want so many more presets, um, but it's this kind of idea. So if you are making a preset and you have troops out, uh, I this is my theory on it. If you are making a preset, let's say you're, you're doing this, you're making, oops, you're making your preset and all that, and uh, you're making your layers and so on. If troops return or if a march lands on something or whatever, the game adjusts the amount of troops that are at home or, uh, or away. I'm not really sure which one it was. And then everything resets and it basically goes to quick select. So as I was doing my preset, it was so unfortunate, so that's why I'm warning you here. Presets can, you can really uh, get in trouble with this. It was like zero, and then I was doing my thousands and thousands, and I was way down here at one of the bottom layers, and I was basically at, uh, at one of the last ones, and then right before I hit save, it did that reset quick, and I saved it. And you just assume that it's okay. And then I went and I started attacking the subordinate city, which got reinforced. And I only wanted to like uh, do like, I don't know, like a thousand troops. Um, and that's all I was doing. I was just doing like layers of like a uh, hundred or something. And um, so I was attacking the city, but I didn't know that it reset and it was doing all my maximum uh, one troop, no layers, everything. And I, I think it was like uh, four or five marches that went through because I was just clicking preset, launch, preset, launch, preset, launch, preset, launch. Um, and I didn't know that it saved that whole thing and I lost a whole bunch of troops really, really quickly. And I was watching, I saw my my uh, power loss go down like this, but you know, like uh, there's only so much you can do and uh, customer support isn't gonna refund that even though that is definitely a bug. Uh, so I don't want you to encounter that. That's why I told you a little story here. Um, be very careful of the preset bug. Only do a preset when there's no real activity happening here um, and have those set before you go into PvP, not in the middle of it. That's a lesson learned that you don't have to learn because I told you. All right, uh, what else? How to use a preset. So let me just quickly demonstrate that. It's not gonna take very long. So let's say you set up your preset and you wanna launch preset 
If I wanted to use one here, I could go click that one and it sets my preset. Now I can march. And you'll see that all my troops are set up according to what I saved previously. That's the whole purpose of preset. It makes PvP and uh, other things quite a bit easier. I have a preset here that I use for uh, joining bosses. And if there were some here uh, popping up, I would show you. But uh, basically, it's just five troops. And I'll click uh, join, click the preset, and then I'll select my general. And it's a very easy thing for me uh, to do that way. All right, the last thing I want to talk about is the duty officer for the rally spot. The rally spot is one of the buildings that you can apply a duty officer. And uh, it is under military here at the bottom. And we'll take a look here at the rally spot. Uh, if you have a special spot, spe eh, special rally spot officer, um, it requires 1300 attack, 1300 leadership, and 3.3 million power um, on that general when you put him on the uh, duty spot. When you do that, you get a march size increase of 25%, and that's of the base amount, remember that, and an additional 50,000. Um, so what that means is if you look at this number here, it takes 350,000, it does 25% increase of that, and that gets added to this total. And it also adds 50,000 to that total as well. So it is a significant amount, um, but don't get it confused with some people, uh, wonder why March size increases and so on are not as big as they are. And it's because... Uh, the way that these modifiers work is they kind of add all the percentages together and then they uh, they do that. So if it's a 500% increase, uh, you take 500% of this. It's not multiplicative, it's additive in terms of uh, those modifiers there. And that kind of goes as well with the city buff here. So another way to increase your march size is by using a city buff. And if you look at these 50%, 100%, 200% increases, they are actually increases of the base amount, 350,000. So if my March size is 1.4 million, it's not going to be 200% of 1.4 million. That would be a very, very big number. Um, well, much bigger than it would be normally. It's 200% of the 350,000, so it just doubles that and adds to that total. All right, um, I think that's all I have to talk about the rally spot. Um, so I do wanna say thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and so on. And definitely a special thank you to all the members of this channel that have clicked the join button and uh, that is very much appreciated. Um, that's all I've got though, so I will see you in the next video.